There is no proof, no evidence whatsoever that what they're about to do works or has any hope of working. It might, except all the people who look at it say, even the teachers that are teaching it, it's a mess. One math advisory expert said, I believe the Common Core marks the cessation of educational standards in improvement in the United States of America. No state has any reason left to aspire for first-rate standards, as all states will be judged by the same mediocre national benchmark enforced by the federal government. But it's not just math. It's dumbing down the students across the board. Common Core de-emphasizes literary works and information for informational texts. I love this. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn has little or no more value than the phone book in Common Core. In fact, the, co the phone book, well, I shouldn't say that, uh, Google would have more. The phone book isn't relevant to today's students. And they look at the phone book and say, nobody uses the phone book. Nobody uses Huckleberry Finn. What good is it? Instead, classic literature is replaced with things like, and I'm not kidding, song lyrics, segments from a Federal Reserve newsletter. How, 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 how is that even relevant to eighth graders? An executive order on transportation and the environment. This is what they're going to be teaching. Not Huckleberry Finn, no classics. Teachers are told not to teach things like the Gettysburg Address in any context or have any background. Just teach the Gettysburg Address. The goal of curriculum, and I'm quoting, should not be the content, uh, uh, the coverage of content, but rather the discovery of content. If well done, the Common Core will elevate our teachings to new heights and emphasize the construction of meaning while deepening our understanding of our students. In our classrooms, it's the students' voices, not the teachers, that are heard. Can I tell you something? The students make more sense than the stupid teachers many times if they're teaching this garbage. This is just the beginning, and all of it is wildly devastating for the health of education in our country, and it has to be stopped. But it's about to go federal. You have very little time to stop it in your state. There is no picking and choosing of parts. This is top-down education from the federal government dictating to local schools what they must teach and how they must teach it. They're going to change the SATs and all of it. If you are not instructed on Common Core, wait until I show you the math, you won't be able to go to college. Good. Local control is out the window with Common Core. And I have news for you. If you're a homeschooler, you're going to be required to use Common Core soon. There is much, much more, and we're going to get into the, um, uh, the problems of this and also the future programs. But before I start, I want to tell you a little bit about who is behind all of this. Who is behind the scenes that have put this curriculum together? One key player is this lady. You never seen her? Oh, she's powerful. Her name is Linda Darling. Linda Darling Ham uh, Hammond. She's from Stanford. She was on Obama's 2009 transition team and the short list for the education secretary. Uh, what a shocker, war against women. Uh, Obama picked the male. She currently serves on uh, the Department of Education's Equity and Excellence Commission, which makes sense because she has a book out called How America's Commitment to Equity Will Determine Our Future. Redistribution of Everything. Hammond also has a close alliance with domestic terrorist and radical leftist Bill Ayers. When Hammond was passed over for Education Secretary, Ayers wrote an editorial in the Huffington Post dedicated um, uh, to why she should have been picked. He said, and I quote, I would have picked, uh, I would have picked Darling. But then again, I would have picked Noam Chomsky for state, Noam Cl um, uh, Naomi Klein for defense, Bernadine Dorn for Attorney General, can you imagine that? Paul Krugman for Treasury Secretary, Amy Goodman for Press Secretary. Well, that's a good list. And we only had to wait for the domestic terrorists to give it to us. This is probably the biggest issue that we have addressed. This is bigger than the collapse of uh, the dollar or anything else. And you can't afford to sit around and wait. Progressives have jammed this through in the dead of night. The unions and the teachers are gobbling it up. Not all teachers. You're going to meet a few tonight that aren't gobbling it up. 
But besides being dumber, our kids are going to be indoctrinated with extreme leftist ideology. The time on Common Core to stand has almost passed. Michelle Malkin has been on the front lines in the fight against Common Core. Her website has a series um, of uh, articles on Common Core that you should read exposing much of the unbelievable nonsense in Common Core. We will not save our country if we do not save our education from this attack. The Obama administration has a four-year head start, and that's just in implementing. They've been working on this from the get-go of his coming into office and a long time before. The 912 Project's mission, as I understand it, is education now. I hope that every member of the 912 Project is all over this. If you're a parent of a school-aged child, do not dismiss this program tonight. If you have a friend or a relative who has kids in school, get involved. Let them know. Get your own kids out of the schools promoting this garbage. Your child will have absolutely no hope of being able to think after this curriculum. And I personally, I, I, I think Bill Ayers is too smart. He knows exactly what it is. Find a private Christian uh, school if you can. Homeschool if you can. If they're not an option, um, try to move into a district that doesn't have it.